Hi everyone. In today tutorial, we are learning, how to install and configure Jenkins using Ansible Playbook using two EC2 instances on AWS. But first let me give you a short introduction about Ansible. Ansible is an open source IT configuration management tool, also deployment and orchestration tool. It aims to provide large productivity gains to a wide variety of automation challenges. This guide will walk you through the benefits of using a configuration management tool to automate your server infrastructure setup, and how one such tool, Ansible, can help you with that. Ansible is a modern configuration management tool that facilitates the task of setting up and maintaining remote servers, with a minimalist design intended to get users up and running quickly. Users write Ansible provisioning scripts in the YAML programming language. This enables users to create sophisticated provisioning scripts more intuitively compared to similar tools in the same category. Ansible doesn't require any special software to be installed on the nodes that will be managed with this tool. A control machine is set up with the Ansible software, which then communicates with the nodes via standard SSH. As said in start, in this tutorial, we are going to use two EC2 instances on AWS. One Ansible control node. One or more Ansible host node. So let's start, log in your AWS account. First we'll create two security groups. Ansible security group with inbound SSH rule. Jenkins security group with inbound SSH, custom port 8080, SSH Ansible security group and ICMP rules. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who hurt my cars and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. After creating security groups, we'll go to instances and create our two instances. First we'll create our Ansible control node for that I'm taking Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS and instance type t2.micro. Next we will keep all default settings. Here we tag our Ansible machine with the name. And next we will select the Ansible security group which we created. Finally we will create a key pair to SSH our Ansible machine and download that key pair. Here note that if you do not create or down that key pair, you are unable to access your machine through SSH. Now as our Ansible control node get ready, we are going to create our second Jenkins host node instance with the same steps we performed. Here note that we have to select same subnet group in which our Ansible control node running, otherwise we are not able to ping our Jenkins host through our Ansible control node. Here 
Here we will select the Jenkins security group which we created. And finally we will use the same key pair to SSH our Jenkins host node, which we created for Ansible control node. To SSH our Ansible control node we'll copy the public IP, but before that we need to convert our key pair which we downloaded through PuttyGen. Now we will access our Ansible machine through WinSCP and access the terminal through PuttyGen. To begin using Ansible as a means of managing your server infrastructure, you need to install the Ansible software on the machine that will serve as the Ansible control node. We'll use the default Ubuntu repositories for that. First, refresh your system's package index with the command as. Following this update, you can install the Ansible software with the command as. Your Ansible control node now has all of the software required to administer your hosts. Next, we'll go over how to set up an inventory file, so that Ansible can communicate with your managed nodes. As we know that we are installing Jenkins through Ansible so first we'll create a directory to keep our working files together. Now we create an inventory file contains information about the hosts you'll manage with Ansible. You can include anywhere from one to several hundred servers in your inventory file, and hosts can be organized into groups and subgroups. The inventory file is also often used to set variables that will be valid only for specific hosts or groups, in order to be used within playbooks and templates. Some variables can also affect the way a playbook is run. Here I am using the private IP of the Jenkins server, Ansible can ping that IP as we configured in Jenkins Security Group. After setting up the inventory file to include your servers, it's time to check if Ansible is able to connect to your servers and run commands via SSH. For that, we'll be generate SSH keys in Ansible control machine and copy it in hosts machines locations after copying the id underscore rsa.pub file from Ansible control machine access your host machine and copy the content in now SSH your Jenkins host to test the connection as you can see we can successfully connect with our Jenkins host through SSH Now we will move into our Jenkins directory and ping our Jenkins host machine with the inventory file, we created. The command, we use as. Once you get a Pong reply back from a host, it means you're ready to run Ansible commands and playbooks on that server. To install Jenkins, first we need to install Java, 
for that create a file named install openjdk.yaml using the command. To run the Ansible playbook targeting the Jenkins instance run the following command. Once the Ansible playbook has finished, you should see that some tasks are yellow, showing that something was changed and some are green, showing that the task ran successfully. Now we'll create Jenkins playbook file to install Jenkins. Once the Ansible playbook has finished, you should see that some tasks are yellow, showing that something was changed and some are green, showing that the task ran successfully. As our tasks completed successfully, we are going to access Jenkins. For that navigate to your browser and use your Jenkins public IP address with port 8080. To get the automatically generated password SSH into your Jenkins instance and run the following command. Congratulations! You have officially created a Jenkins server using an Ansible playbook. Thank you for watching.